The Craft 3 Beta is installable via Composer. So before we install it, let's take a look at what Composer is and how we can set up Composer on our local machine. And if you go to getcomposer.org, you will see that this is a dependency manager for PHP. Composer allows you to manage the dependencies, the libraries, the software that your project requires in order to run. And it allows you to do it in a way where they're kind of packaged up and automatically installed and updated as you need to. So Composer is widely used across a lot of PHP frameworks. And it's not without controversy because some people feel like it adds an extra level of complexity that perhaps isn't necessary. However, in the case of Craft, it's honestly a really nice way of spinning up a Craft installation. And I'll look at that when we install it with Composer. But let's first look at Composer and sort of how we can get Composer running on our machine. So I'm running Mac OS and I'm going to show how to install it on the latest version of Mac OS. So the first thing you want to do is go and to getcomposer.org slash download. And here's, there's going to be a series of PHP commands. Now there is a bash script that you can use, but it's important that you do, you either use that bash script that they provide or use these commands because they are validating the hash to ensure that the current release is what you're downloading is the right thing. So nobody's trying to make you download a corrupt or illegitimate or hacked version of Composer. So the first thing you need to do is run these commands in terminal. So let's do that. So before we install anything, we want to make sure we don't have it running already. So we say which Composer and I get a command prompt that's blank, which means I don't have Composer installed. Or if I do, it's not in my path, which of course we want it to be. We want to follow carefully the directions that they have on the Composer site. So the first thing is to run this command, which downloads the file and names it composer setup.php. So we run that. The next step is to verify that we have the right file, that the hash of the file equals this right here. And this changes for each release because the contents of the file change, the hash will change. And it's just going to echo out whether it's a verified version of the installer or not. So it is verified. We get the return of installer verified. Now we want to run PHP Composer Setup. So we run that and it's going to check our settings to make sure that we have uh, proper uh, dependencies for Composer installed and it's going to install it. So we have it, it's installed here in my user directory, composer.far. It's not where I want it, so I'm going to move it. But first I'm going to run this last command right here. And then I now need to move these composer.far file, this phar file. And I need to move that to a global location. In my case, it's going to be user local bin and then composer. So we'll move composer.far to user local bin slash composer. Now this for me is in my path. So when I run this from the command line, I don't have to type the full path to this composer file. I only have to just type composer and because it's in the path, it will find it. All right. So if I type composer now, you can see, there we go. I get a whole listing of the commands that are available to me. So that's one thing to know is that composer is a file. It's a file with a bunch of code in it, but it's really just a file that you locate somewhere on your machine. If I run which composer now, you can see it returns user local bin composer. I can also run user local bin composer and it'll do the same thing, but because user local bin is in my path, I don't have to, I can just run composer. So how to check if user local bin is in your path. So I'm going to open up my bash profile. 
And you can see at the top here, I'm exporting out path variable and that is user local bin is the first one that I have listed. So when I run a command like composer, on the back end, my bash, which is my terminal environment, that then checks, okay, user local bin, is it there? Yes, okay, run it. If not, it'll move on to the rest of the things that are in my path. Now, your machine may differ, so you should definitely uh, check whether user local bin is in your path or maybe put it somewhere else. I recommend user local bin. It's a nice global place to have that, so it's on your entire computer and accessible everywhere outside of just one project. Um, but you may want to refer to the Composer documentation if you're unsure of what to do. They have some uh, information on that as well. All right, so with that installed, I have Composer available to me, and I am now ready to install Craft 3 Beta on my machine via Composer. To install Composer on Windows, go to the Composer site, and then go to download. And from here, you want to download the executable, which is composer-setup.exe. And once you download this executable, you can then run it. And then that will launch the composer setup wizard. And when we step through, the first thing we need to do is make sure that we choose the PHP that we want to use because composer is a PHP package manager. We need to make sure that we are choosing the right PHP. In my case, I am running XAMP here on this virtual machine of Windows, and I'm going to choose the XAMP PHP version. We can skip the proxy. We'll review our changes here, and then install Composer. So this will run the Composer installation script. So you let that run, and once it's done, you will have your setup for Composer complete. Now I'm running this in a virtual machine, so I ran into a couple of connection errors, but if you're running this normally on Windows, you shouldn't uh, run into those at all. But that's the basics for how you get Composer set up. If you want to do it manually, you can use the command line installation as well, and just run these commands one by one and it will also install Composer right on your copy of Windows.